Welcome to the show. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be talking about Bad Mother by one of our absolute favorites, Mia Sheridan. Yeah, so the first few minutes we're going to do a brief review of the story without any spoilers. Then we're going to shift into a deeper book discussion, which is going to include lots of spoilers. Don't worry, we're going to let you know when we do shift into that deeper book discussion. Okay, before we get to that, Amy, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what Bad Mother is about. So a woman named Sienna nearly loses her job with the NYPD, but is offered a transfer to the police department in her hometown of Reno. Her first case on the job is a serial killer who has a curious fixation on her and after perplexing clues start making the case more personal for her by bringing in her ex-fiance, she realizes the killer must be someone close to home. This story has plenty of suspense with an underlying romance story woven throughout. Sarah, what did you think about Bad Mother? Okay, I have to reiterate how much I love Mia Sheridan. We've read almost everything. I think we're lacking like two stories. So this was just the best. And nobody does a romance thriller quite like Mia Sheridan. We love the Where Duet. We've talked about that. Bad Mother is right there with it. It was so compelling. I was on the edge of my seat. But one of the things I love about Mia Sheridan is I'm not scared during her th- romance thrillers. <laughs> I appreciate that um, because I don't like to be scared, but I am on the edge of my seat and I want to know the mystery and the why behind it. And I love, once again, she's taken this character that you are not supposed to the be on their side mm-hmm. and you kind of sympathize or empathize with them. And so it's just so well written. What did you think of it? So this was one of my most anticipated reads of 2023. Mm. Like you mentioned, we've read most of her backlist and I can always count on Mia to get me out of a book slump. Oh, 100%. She's She's, my go-to. Yeah, she's fantastic for that. She always writes these stories that are fast paced. They hold your interest all the way to the end. And this story has one of my favorite combinations, suspense and romance. So you know I was a fan. Oh, for sure. 100%. (laughs) All right, let's get into our ratings. Angst. Okay, angst. You would think it would be a little bit higher being a romance thriller, but I just rated it a three. I gave it a three, too. Tell me why. Okay, well, Actually, I... Actually, I did three and a half. Oh, okay. So I gave it a three because, like I said, it was I was on the edge of my seat. There's a lot of mystery to it. Um, there's a serial killer, so, you know, there's <laughs> angst. Stakes people. are high. <laughs> Stakes are high, you know? Um, but I, I didn't feel like it was... You know those uh, books where there's just overwhelmingly angsty? Mm-hmm. This is not it for me. I but agree. because it of what it's dealing with, the the notion of the whole the whole premise of the story. Um it was a three. Yeah, that's I gave it three and a half because of the mystery and suspense aspects of the story and just trying to solve the crime and figure out what's happening. That was why I gave it three and a half. Okay, humor. Okay, humor. This was just a 0.25 for me. I did 0.5. We were close. Yeah, it's not a humorous story, this one. (laughs) Um, So there's really not a whole lot to laugh about. Um, Yeah. Yeah, very few, few, if any, humorous moments. Yeah. Spiciness. Spiciness. I gave it a one. We were close again. I did one and a half. Yeah. Not a ton. I saw my numbers flip for a second. I was like, wait, I don't remember it being that high. Um, So that's tears. Hold on. We'll come to that. Um, No, I gave it a one. It's not spicy. If you need low spice to no spice, this is it. I think so, too. There's like a scene. And it's well done. It's well written. So Absolutely agree. 100%. Tears. Okay, this was a four for me. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like it's very um, important that we share. If you, you need to look at the trigger warnings Mm -hmm. of this. There is some aspects of this story that it can be very triggering for many people, many Mm -hmm. people, whether personally or because of connection to other people. So definitely you need to read the trigger warnings before you go into this. It made me emotional for what the character has to endure um, and it is dealing with a serial killer, so it's it's emotional. But there is something specific that a character endures that I just I it's a it's yeah it's a lot. So. so I did one and a half. So I was significantly lower than you, even though there are definitely sad moments. Mm-hmm. Most of it is off the page. It's not extremely descriptive of the things that are happening. It's right. alluded to. You kind of get just an overall view, and because of that, I brought the rating down a little yeah. bit. Or a lot <laughs> compared to A lot compared, compared to, to me because it just, I just, yeah. <laughs> All right, overall. Overall, this is a 4.5 for me. Oh, I love I, that. I just, I love Mia Sheridan and I am just, I love reading when she has a romance thriller 
the wear duet is one of my absolute favorites and this just kind of gave that vibe for me it does yeah it's just one of my favorites and it's gonna stay with me I just, yeah, it's, I really enjoyed it. It's great. I did 4.25. I love the mystery aspects, the yep. puzzles that they have to kind of solve to solve the crime. I was a fan of that. Mm -hmm. Some of the details were a little bit predictable to me, but I really enjoyed the journey of the ride that she takes us on. I mean, it's hard to be disappointed by Mia. She's a yeah. solid rider, and mm -hmm. this one is definitely a top choice for me. Agree. Same. All right, that concludes the spoiler-free quick review of the story. Now we're going to shift into the deeper discussion portion, which is going to include lots of spoilers. If you haven't read this story, stop what you're doing right now. Go check it out and then come back and listen to the full discussion that we have of the story. You can find us on any available podcast platform at Post Book Depression or by simply clicking the link below. And then find us on social media and let, you, let us know your thoughts. You can find us on Instagram at Post Book Depression Podcast, on Facebook at Post Book Depression Discussion Group. You can always email us at Post Book Depression Podcast at gmail.com.